Hi guys, long time no see. There's been so many things going on, so I thought, why not just do a catch up video as well as a get ready with me. I got some new products that I want to show you guys today. So why not start off with that? I mean, it's, it's been a real hectic couple of months and I, I'm now fully moved into my new place, which is one of the most important things that happened in the last um, month, two months, and of course, the issues with my legs. Let's start off with, I already washed my face, toned it, so now I am going to do the Merit Great Skin Serum. I actually had this last year and I went through it, I blew through it so fast. It is such a beautiful serum. It looks like so great skin. So I'm just gonna do a couple pumps. And put it into my skin. It is a very loose serum. So usually I would um, warm it up in my hands. But this way it works as well so i know that this product is beautiful um so happy that i got this back but they have a new item this is what i really wanted to try it is their priming moisturizer so i love priming moisturizers because i don't have perfect glass skin so i love how it kind of hides and blurs some of the bumps on my skin and pores so this is a great skin priming moisturizer trying it out for the first time and consistency feels very nice actually let's try it out The moisturizer I've been using prior is not a priming one. So I have high expectations on how this is going to look on my skin. So I'm going to drag it down a little bit more because we want to make sure we moisturize our neck. And I've been having the craziest heat rash um, since I've moved. So that thing has just been flaring up and down. Oh, but it feels beautiful. It feels very soft on the skin. Very soft on the skin. Let's see how it reacts with all my other products. We're going to go in with my favorite sunscreen from Summer Fridays. One day Merit's going to make a sunscreen and I cannot wait to try it because I love it took me a while to find a sunscreen since um, another brand that I used to love stopped making it. So if Merit makes a sunscreen, I'm there. But while I put on the sunscreen, um, as I said, I have fully moved in. Um, things are not completely all done yet. Um, so there's still some moving vehicles that needs to happen. As far as completion wise, my office is probably 95% done and I will do an office tour video um, to show you guys. It's not, just gonna preface this, it's not like the trend right now is everybody's doing so minimalistic, neutrals I'm not really that girl so if that's what you're gonna expect to see no have you watched any of my videos before I am NOT that gal so um, do what you will with that but yeah I'm just not that girl so don't expect that to come from my office tour but that is definitely coming soon and then your girl has to go in with a primer. I really probably didn't have to um, do a primer because the Merit is a priming moisturizer. However, I, because I was talking to you guys, I just totally forgot. <laughs> so um, 
let's see actually like this is one of my favorite primers let's see if this will help it be even better than that i got the minimalist the poor perfecting complexion stick i have it in the color camel um it looks like so i love these so much you can even tell look how old this one looks wait look how old this one looks because even the packaging is even different i loved this so much um i have to show it to you before i throw it away look at i fully used it and i forgot to restock it fast so i end up having to dip my finger all the way in and that's why it looks how it does but now i can throw it away i purchased a new one so this is ochre and then here i have um camel and camel is a, a shade darker but i like to use ochre for of course under eye just to add some brightness and i want to see if camel is dark enough to get the rest of my skin oh yep yes it is perfect i don't fully do foundation i just kind of spot treat and they also gave me another brush this is their brush number one and i have several of these brushes already so i'm just gonna show it to you but i love this brush so much it is so great let me it's just such a perfect brush i love it for just this spot concealer i know it doesn't look spot sorry but it is kind of spot to me and i just go ahead and go in and i just love how it blends the product and i like to go in a stippling motion as well and i like how merit beauty their stuff is buildable so i do have some spots right now which i would have to build upon a little bit more which is um right under my jaw chin right here oh yeah camel actually is a really good color for the rest of my skin oh, not that don't go applying on the lighter color so i need to get here again and i'm gonna build that coverage and then I did a little on my upper lip too because I forgot. So just go ahead and stipple that in to build in more coverage. Yeah. Okay. Looking nice and fresh. Looking nice and fresh. This is the color clay. And this is going to be their um, contour stick. I like to go... It's a little bit lighter. But I guess I, I do like that. And then I just like to go inner parts of my eye here and then i like to carve out just a thinner nose and then going across giving that button nose look too and then i also like to get of course here in my upper cheekbones and like i said i it doesn't look too dark which is great because clean makeup right i want to try to look as natural as i can my favorite blush is also from them i know it's a lot of merit things but i wouldn't be talking about it if i didn't love it but i have the rouge rouge um it is a blush but you can also use it i believe for your lips as well it has multi-use so i'm gonna go in with that as well i'd usually use the same brush but the other brush i used it recently so i have to wash that one so i had to go in with another brush but usually i would still go in with their number one brush as well nice and flushed and i do like to go in with another brush just to kind of blend it out a little bit more but my base is done some things that i do want to highlight though that um has been better for me is that i can actually walk up slight inclines now like i can't mountain climb i can't do any hikes yet but before i used to struggle going up like the slightest incline like for example a garage um going up like a garage because it was just 
so difficult for me and now I'm in a better place where I can do that so that means I am actually capable of walking Millie more now because I'm able to go up the incline I live my new place um, is kind of up a little steep so I been going to PT and you know I've been just putting in the work and slowly I'm getting there I feel like um, last night though I did go to um, Walmart to buy a cane because sometimes I just need it just in case um, you know something was to happen or if my leg feels extremely exhausted um, I sometimes need the support so I actually had purchased one funny because now that I feel like I'm doing a little bit better um, now I want to get the cane where I actually tried one when I was a little bit worse and I was like absolutely not it had to be some form of denial because I just I just at that time I couldn't do it I just couldn't couldn't do it i just didn't feel right about it I, I don't know how to explain how i felt but i just remember just being very angry and frustrated that this is what was happening to me but i think now that i am doing much better that maybe that's why i feel like okay i can do the cane thing just to help and support whenever you know my legs are absolutely tired so i i think i've grown to accept that um which i think is a better mental health situation for me honestly i wasn't in the best uh, mental health i don't assume anybody to be if they were in this situation but it was just really, really difficult. And I'm kind of glad that now I'm at a place where I feel a little bit better about it. So I'm also not trying to mess up because I do have somewhere to be. Otherwise that, that's that for my Lego problem. So far, as far as this makeup goes, I am quite enjoying like how the base looks for doing majority all merit i've been talking about merit on this channel for a while so i have been enjoying it quite a bit and um their new moisturizer i was pretty nervous that it wasn't gonna work well with the rest of my skincare but actually i feel like it feels a little bit more flawless so I definitely think the primering part of the moisturizer does help because I do feel like it is more flawless. I will still try it and see, but for the most part, still, I've been liking it quite a bit. If you have any questions about all the items that I'm using, I'm going to link the link down below. But the, another reason why I really love Merit Beauty is because it is clean. It's a clean product, and when I shop with... Um, you know buying any facial anything I always try to look for clean items just because I don't want anything to really clog my pores or anything I'm not saying that um, there is to only go clean do what you want but so far Merit Beauty has been absolutely one of my favorite beauty brands um, sorry I'm going to go back into what about the lego situation again i totally forgot to mention that today is the start of my fmla um family medical leave act i asked to be put on leave because it is very difficult for me to work while my legs are being this way um because it's hard for me to walk up and down the stairs without having some kind of support i need the support i can't free squat i can't hop i can't run um so it's been not easy i wanted to work 
really aggressive with PT, which is what my um, oncologist had recommended for me to go really hard on PT. He used the term aggressive um, just because whenever I was going to PT and then I had to go to work after, my legs were so um, shaky and jello-like that I potentially would fall and I wouldn't want to stress my coworkers about that. So that's why I also made that choice as well. For um, mascara, I'm gonna go with the Merit mascara. I think this is the color, oh, it's just Clean Lash Mascara, um, which I've been actually really liking as well since I'm running really low on that favorite mascara that I've been using. But I like this one because the black color is so dark in comparison to the other one that I was using. See, look at that. Pretty and natural. But yes, I'm on FMLA so I can go hard on the physical therapy and I'm just hoping that I can be back to work before the holiday season that would be fantastic but because i am on fmla i had to sacrifice some things and what i mean by sacrifice is i was slated to go to japan november and because i'm going on fmla that is no longer going to be happening so all the sick that I've had and whatever vacation that I had accrued is now either frozen or all depleted and so that means no Japan this year however the end of this year is already here so I mean next year is looking like that's gonna happen for me um, the better time frame that's gonna happen for me. But I'm pretty much almost done. I just need to do like my little touches of highlight, which I like to do on the tip of my nose, a little bit on the bridge, Cupid's bow, and then I have my lip gloss in my bag, and that's it. Cute, clean makeup, mostly by Merit. But I am on my way out, you guys. I have a few errands to run. And I will check back with you guys later. This video, if it does not come out before the office tour, then um, enjoy the office tour. I'm going to link it above. If not, I apologize. Go and check back. But you guys are always the LS. I appreciate you guys. Check out Merit Beauty. I love this brand. It's not just for women. Men use moisturizers too. So go and check it out. All the links are down below. Bye.